Can you tell us your name, please? My name, Chinese name is Wu Ling Zhi. Wu Ling Zhi. Oh. Yeah. Or and other names? Uh, my English name is Irene because I'm major in English. And I have a Dharma name, Go Tami. Uh, can you tell us your uh, age? How old are you? And where are you from? Your hometown, please. Oh, I'm 13, 7 years old. I'm from the central south of China, oh. the capital city of Hulan province, also the hometown of Mao Zedong, oh. first chairman Mao. Uh, so you were, you, you were ordained and now you're taking meditation. So we'd like to know whether you're a traditional Buddhist or uh, now you believe in Buddhism as on your own? Yeah, I'm not a traditional Buddhist. I become a Buddhist seven years ago. Mm. So become uh, I take uh, Buddhism study seriously for the past uh, six years. Many times we present a retreat. Oh, uh, so uh, there must be uh, you, you 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 find it very interesting Buddhism. So, uh, what motivates you to become uh, to to be interested in Buddhism? In, in China, actually, uh, Buddhism is kind of popular, but I didn't uh, study seriously and uh, systematically before I, um, I have practiced Vipassana meditation. I found great joy in practicing it. The joy of uh, the purification of my mind and body. My health condition has much, much better and I found uh, a peace for the happiness of the mind brings the greatest joy more than ever. Any uh, joy uh, cannot uh, yeah, compare with this, this kind of happiness. What or the person who introduced you to be interested in this practice? Mm. I mean, through, um, through books or through someone? someone? It's just by um, accident, I can say. A friend sa said she wants to, uh, wanted to go to a, a temple, a monastery. At the end of 2011, at the end of the year, I was very tired from business. So I, I said, I would like to go with you. But she was also first time to go there. I was also new. So I went there, I, 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 uh, it's a Vipassana meditation retreat, I didn't know. But when I first heard the Bali, I said, wow, this sound, I have so familiar. I feel this is what I, I have been looking for for my whole life. Hmm. So uh, where was your first meditation retreat? In China, very cold, minus under uh, 13 degrees. <laughs> Here, Shelly Kamalandi. Shelly Kamalandi. Um, so, I mean, she's uh, she, uh, she, her nationality. She is, she also she is a student of uh, Venerable Bandida Charoji. Oh, she's Chinese. She is from Malaysia. Yeah, I I have been in the past six years. I have been attend the retreat. She. Uh, conducted for about I think 20 times. She come to China uh, like uh, every three months twice. Oh, yes, uh, uh, because meditation retreat. I mean retreat uh, is not an not a not like a not like a trip, mm -hmm. not like an yeah. ordinary trip. Yes. I mean joining the meditation retreat is yeah. not like a trip. Yes. Uh, so, but uh, you found it very first impression of the retreat. Uh, is uh, peace, I mean, joy, happiness. So you, you are, you're keen on the, I mean, practice. Yes. So how, how did you, and how did you feel like that for the very first time? For the best, first time, actually, very painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I, I, 
I also found joy. In, in, I first uh, observe the pain can disappear only by pure observation. Um. That's I found, wow, that's totally new. It's so, but it's what the teacher has said is true. So I must really follow, follow her. But I have to overcome the difficulty. You know, the first time, very, very cold, icy, snowy. Yeah, uh, because uh, you, you, you told us you were very tired of business. Eh? Yeah. So you are a business lady, and then, so you join the retreat, and for uh, for a certain uh, a certain time. And so after the retreat, you go back to your your business field again. Yes. So do you notice the changes before before joining the retreat? and after joining the retreat, and how about your environment, the surrounding? Do they notice about your changes? Yeah, I become more uh, like uh, calm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, I can notice I want to lose temper. I, will. Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> I I'm not as loose as, as before. Uh, I yes. can, it under some bit of control, and uh, like a uh, Many people has uh, come to the Vipassana retreat because my intro introduction. Oh, I see. Because now, at the most of the people at the age of thirty-seven, actually, is a booming stage, booming, uh, enjoying the sensual life. Mm -hmm. But now, you take the you know unique road, like a solitude life and a Vipassana meditation. This is a do you think uh, this is your past, you know, like a momentum of your parami? Or how do, how, do, how do you think about your, you know, inclination towards a Vipassana meditation? Okay. Yes. Actually, at the age of 30, you successful businesswoman, they enjoy the sensual life. Yes. Other people, they love uh, leisure, they want to live in a leisure, but now you take their different road, unique road. Yes. Yeah. This is very uh, special, even in China in modern times. Um, people, like ladies in my age, they have their family or they are more like in um, pursuing uh, the material life. But I found, I pursued before, but I didn't find the happiness. Mm. And, uh, so now you you really uh, got the taste the true taste of what we, we call it the Dhamma. taste of the bar yes. and the happiness and joy you you know sukha i mean joy sukha. and sukha joy and you notice the changes recently before and after the retreat you know? yes. and how about your the family do they accept your changes uh, uh, do you have uh, some sort of confrontation among your family? Mm. I mean, parents or I? Yes, in the very beginning, they didn't understand what I'm doing. But my mom also followed for the Vipassana mm. retreat oh. twice for twenty That's days exactly. each. Oh. I feel I am very uh, very lucky because my family member always support me. They have some certain trust, although they, they don't really understand what, what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. well, especially in this retreat, I reflect upon what they have done to me. I feel really gratitude. At first, I think when you start joining the retreat, you were like an ordinary person, like yogi. Yes. And then now, uh, and you gain a sort of, uh, sort of, uh, we call a, we call a. Dhamma Rasa, Rasa means uh, the, the joy, yeah. happiness from Dhamma, eh? yeah. Dhamma experience yes. Dhamma. And then and, uh, you join, you were ordained as a nun. Mm -hmm. So what, what's the difference between taking practice oh, uh, as a nun and as a yogi? Yeah, I feel actually there are great difference. Mm -hmm. uh, when I uh, ordained, I practice as a chalet. You no, know, the web, the clothing is different. That's not only a cloth, that's a percept. Mm -hmm. As 
soon as far as I was in that kind of dressing, I, it reminded me I, uh, Ms. Shelley, so I should be very, be, my behavior should be different. Yeah, that's a restraint from other ordinary people like Yogi. And uh, it also gave me a motivation why I ordained. I should, because I'm uh, pursuit of the noble life. I should mm. learn from the noble disciple and really know get the essence of the Buddha's teaching. Oh yes, everyone has the ambition, the vision, and then soon uh, we have our own vision in life. Mm. And uh, your let, let us know your vision or your ambition in life. Yeah, I, my ambition in the past, I want to earn more money, <laughs> big house. A happy family, yeah, that's my motivation. Um, but now, since especially after this retreat, I think my goal uh, in this very life to get enlightened, to be at least a Sotabana. You no, know, I should get the ticket. Otherwise, Sansara is suffering and dangerous. Mm -hmm. I need to get the ticket with courageous effort and really great patience and uh, I hope unshakable resolution. Mm -hmm. If you if you if you don't mind you know, through our magazine, uh, do you have some there, I think you encounter some difficulties mm -hmm. uh, during the practice. Mm -hmm. And uh, and you have s s a kind of remarkable experience uh, you would like to share share I mean uh, uh, to to our uh, if if our, if our, you don't mind. Okay. Difficulty actually. This for uh, this two months uh, retreat. The first month was very challenging. Uh, in the beginning, I was shelly, so the ropes was three nails, very hot. <laughs> <laughs> I have endured the hotness yeah. with the electricity fan. I still feel very yeah. hot, so I have to be. Mind me, patient, 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 and also the many even um, ants in mm. the Dharma hall. Mm. I, I, I don't want to, you know, hurt them, but they keep coming and going. I was, well, just a, a kind of nervous. Yeah. So even from this tiny thing can yeah. be challenging. Mm. Yeah, and uh, let me see. Also. Uh, and, uh, also, I feel um, like sleep, sl sleepy mm -hmm. in the morning. Oh yes. Yeah. But mm -hmm. uh, I, I have to be very like to fresh me up. I, I, I stand outside mm -hmm. to you know standing mm -hmm. or do walking meditation mm -hmm. instead of sitting. Mm -hmm. Use all kinds of method to drink coffee mm -hmm. to make me fresh. <laughs> Even the method. Just because I, I think why I am here, I'm here. I want to practice. So I also do prayer to mm -hmm. Buddha, Buddha to give me support. Mm -hmm. I, I I want to really finish this 60-day retreat because it has been my long wish since I have been here. So I need to stay here. Yeah, to overcome, please help me to overcome all the difficulty. And uh, how about the remarkable experience through your practice? Oh, remarkable, I, I, I don't know whether it is remarkable or not, but gradually the practicing becomes smooth. I, in the many moments I feel very peaceful and uh, I feel all oh, to experience like the pain, and no, no more regard as pain. I really see as the, the changes of the four elements. The only the four elements are changing instantly. So it really have like Buddha say the um, three character impermanence, uh, suffering, and the non-self is not under my control. As far as I observe. Then the pain in this way, there's no more pain, only changes very fast mm -hmm. in moment to moment. Mm -hmm.
And also, uh, I remember one morning I took two hours from the Dhamma Hall to, to breakfast, then walking to the Dhamma Hall, night up, then night up to, to get the food and to wait for to eat, 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 then come back. I uh, one after eating, go back to uh, walk very slowly to the Dhamma Hall. It took me two hours because one, as soon as I reached my sitting place, the seven o'clock the bell rang. The mm. Manchester I said, I have the best breakfast ever for my whole life. Mm -hmm. Not because of food. The food is good, but because more important because the mindfulness. Mm. Yeah. I eat as as if very uh, to observe the eating posture, take the food and uh, uh, biting, chewing, swallowing, and the whole process, and we walk back to the Dhamma Hall giving me great joy. Each step, so simple, and with the morning breeze, I feel, wow, that's so sweet, just yeah. like falling in love. Yeah, that's the Dhamma test. Uh, first, uh, first of all, when, when you first joined the retreat, yes. you were ordained yes. as a nun, yes. and now you're a yogi. Yes. Ordinary yogi. Yes. So, when and how did you change mm, the uh, dress? I mean, yeah. a month ago. Oh. A month ago, because uh, you know, next uh, after a month, uh, no, no more half half after uh, half a month actually. Our traditional once a year spring festival will come, so I have to go back home to spend mm. the festival with my family. That's why I'm prepared. That's, you also yes. said the social relationship is harmony. Mm. I, I also uh, I fulfill my dream to uh, join this retreat and ordained. So I also have to take their feeling in consideration. Yes. Yeah. I, I, I a little bit don't want uh, you know to take off the rope, but I also say, think I should take the, uh, their them into consideration. Then I encourage myself as far as I keep the eight percepts well. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's more important than the, the, the dressing. The, the dress, uh, outer appearance. The outer appearance. So I, I should keep uh, keep the eight percepts and uh, also uh, to practice diligently mm. to get what I want, to cherish the time here instead of feel sorry about uh, the out uh, dressing. Mm -hmm. Sadu, sadu, sadu. <laughs> So, uh, before the retreat, your attitude towards the festival, the spring festival, mm -hmm. and now, while after the retreat, I mean, uh, your attitude, mm -hmm. uh, there's uh, some changes? N not big change, I just feel it's time to for family union, oh. and but I will keep my, just uh, not to as, as ordinary days, not so big. To me, oh. yeah, I, I I will I, I make a wish here. I will keep practicing with a center meditation when I get home. When everybody's resting, that's the best. I don't want to be so socialized with other people. I just want to be quiet and don't, don't want to be so sociable. Mm. To see the relative, to senior relatives mm. only, not to go out with friends, eating, drinking. Mm. Yeah, that's mm. not what I want. I just want to be quiet. You do your things and I respect. Mm -hmm. I keep mine. Uh, this is most of the Chinese do yes. yeah, at, yeah, at the temple. And now if you do like this, what's your praying? Oh, uh, uh, your wish for I mean. Yeah. I use uh, the sandal stick at home uh, every day. Yeah, I just want to just to show my respect to the Buddha. Mm. And uh, if ask my wish, I would really want to deepen my practice. Mm -hmm. Wish Thank all beings uh, well and happy. Wish my I can really get the essence of Buddhism. Oh, yes. Sadu, sadu, sadu. Yeah, I, I, you know, the, the, the um, incense they give a good smell in the house, also a purification, and uh, I take it as purification of mind, as a symbol, symbolism. Oh yes. And, um, I feel I was so I am so fortunate to have been here to almost finish this 16 retreat. I have been 
10 days early to arrive here. Oh. Actually, for me, it's 17 days. Oh, yes. For whole this Myanmar, I, I stayed 80 days. Oh. I feel in China, I got uh, the postgraduate um, degree, MBA. Oh. I, I think MBA should be mindful business administration. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Mindful business administration. Yes, yes. that's the true MBA. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. Yes, uh, generally, yogis, meditators, they join the retreat and uh, they pursue. Uh, pursue their own ambition, pursue maybe the happiness or sukha or something. Mm. And uh, some people, some yogis are satisfied with their own practice, mm -hmm. but while some are not. And now as a yogi, you, your, your own personal, what is what you are satisfied with and what you are not satisfied with. Mm -hmm. Your own practice, I mean practice went through mm -hmm. this uh, retreat. Um, through this uh, retreat, uh, at this moment, I feel I satisfied with my continuous effort uh, in practicing. One day after the Dharma talk, I will cry, not because of sorrow, but I feel so for my you know, uh, constant p perseverance, mm -hmm. because I overcome all the difficulties. As I didn't mention, after I changed clothing, I got cold. Yeah. In, in the beginning, I was hot. <laughs> I got cold. I, I, I flew the, the running oh, nose, yes. yes, and aching necks mm. in the morning, especially. So, wow, it's really even more challenging to me. Mm. But uh, I use all the methods. I, I use, I sock my neck three times whenever I get the brick in my room. Oh. And wear heavy clothes. So that evening after the Dharma talk, I was so inspired by the sorrow, mm -hmm. and I feel wow, I I feel so blessed. I'm still here because my perseverance and all the probably the, the Dharma talk and the interview given by sorrow, everything and also good food, mm -hmm. uh, uh, also accommodation, everything mm -hmm. here, the good environment. The best luck, karma. Yes. I'm still here, so I was deeply touched. I cried in the bathroom oh, very quietly for a, a few moments. Oh, yes. I also observe. Oh, yes. <laughs> but, yeah, I, such kind of experience. Did, did, did you share yes. us the intention? I pay more, um, more carefully to observe the um, sixth sense door, I include uh, the thinking door as the intention come. Uh, I'm more often to see why I have made the decision to do such a thing. Like uh, planning, planning, I will take, keep take loading. So I see my intention like to, well, I want to uh, uh, open the door, so I, I'm going to move my hand to fetch my bag to get the bag key and to take out and uh, to put on the door and then open slowly, then open the door. So each movement, it, one intention includes more, a lot of small intentions, one after another. The intention movement, intention movement. The process is good. You know, 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 ไอ้ซอชูเวตกามาตัวตุ้ยดาจ้ะบ่ตุ้ยดาซะตุ้ยตุ้ยปอลาลาเลยซะหลายไอ้พิมุรีพิสินิโกนุตัวดิช่วย
Yeah, you know, the realization. We we got a realize the insight, insight knowledge. Yes, it's sixteen, true. sixteen yeah. levels of insight knowledge. Not such a part. Yes, I mean, and then uh, now you because you observe. You I mean you observe the the mental, mental. I mean the mind, the mm -hmm. process of the mind, yeah. and uh, so you, your, your. Insight knowledge. Yes. Stage, 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 stage by stage, stage, stage Lee, yes. Yes, stage by stage. Lee. I know that um, I, I just put up the knowledge into one side and focused on practicing. Think as far as I'm thinking, analyzing, I'm not living in the moment. Mm. So I will come back to to remind me to be at the present. Come back, come back. Yeah, don't go back to the textbook. Oh, yes. <laughs> Present moment. Yeah. Present moment. Present moment. Uh, and you? My view. Yeah, I listen to the by listen to the Dharma talk every evening. I gradually come to understand. Uh, uh, just to stay in the moment. Try, try the best to observe. That's the work. Not to think. Just to observe by the experience and to verify the knowledge. Just yeah. to have the trust in Buddha's teaching, trust in the teaching, and trust in myself. Yes, and then you see I me mean, through your knowledge. I mean, we call it experiential knowledge. Yeah. You see the process of the mind, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I, I, have, I believe I have trust. Yes. Yeah, and the trust has beaten up. Yes, yes. ตัวเจนน่ะตะเสียเป็นสิ่งของตีบายเสียสาวเลยตัวเจนเนี่ยนี่เนี่ยมันจะไปอยู่ในสิ่งของปูบิโอเนลาลีลีปูบิโอเอ
skillful to not hurt the hands. I mean, to you, we want really want to get the true joy, true happiness in life. We should to really look inside, to find to look inside ourselves. And uh, Bandidharma Forest Center is a perfect place to practice for practicing to look for this kind of true happiness. เออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออเออ